Hello, favorite people. My name is MK, and here I am on the Koala Craft Server 2.0. This is the new map, in case you were wondering. And as you can see on my plot, I have done literally nothing. But I've been a little bit busy, and I will show you what I've been up to. Um, yeah, let's let's go feed the beast. So let me see. Oh, there's Gary. <laughs> Oh, sweet. He has been bringing me stuff for a roof that I've been making. Anyway, so this is my sad little plot. I've got kind of the border of a house marked out. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Nothing so far yet. This here is um, UK Vamps. Crazy, crazy, crazy setup here. Man, I can't really... Okay, yeah, I did hear that. It was so quiet. I was like, am I playing the game? Um, yeah, and he's really into Thaumcraft. 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 Which, um, it has to do with magic and all sorts of crazy stuff. And he has a silver tree. Silver leaf. Silver something. And if you look really closely, usually these leaves sparkle. But, uh, I don't know. I don't see any sparkling going on right now. So, who knows what's up with that. All right, so we'll head back down. Uh, I like this building. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's a whole lot of cobble, but it looks good. Looks good. Oh, let's see if we can get through the door. There we go. Okay, so here, this big thing with the giant tower, this is Sigil's place. And I, I had the privilege of laying out all these streets. I got to pick the street names. I got to decide who got what plot. I got to, it was, it was so much fun, let me tell you. <laughs> Love Shack Lane. Rrr. And, um, yeah, so everybody here has a 30 by 30 plot, and all of the plots are 30 by 30, except for the town halls plus courthouse plot. This is the Clever Creeper's place. I really need to get people to put up signs on their doors, just so that, you know, it's easy to see which YouTuber is where. He surprised us all and surprised himself with this build, because he claims to be not a builder, but this is... A really great looking little house so good work good work clever creeper I am I'm so proud looks great this here oh yeah I said that's sigils already and then some of these streets are gonna go all the way out toward there's um in this direction there's on the other side of the mountain a village and a volcano oh don't look at that don't look at that big build in the distance we'll get to that <laughs> And then here, this plot is going to be, let's see, what does this sign say? Let me remember. Oh yeah, this is going to be where, like, the entrance to the community mine and the post office are. And then over here is Mackenzie's house. She does not have a YouTube channel. I think she might be the only person on the server without a channel. But she is our official... Our official food person. Yeah, wow. This is awesome. She's got all this fish and or, pff, all this food and fish too. But yeah, she's providing everybody with food. She's really into that. Let's take a look real quick at her farm setup back here. Dang, she used a lot of glowstone. I'm a little bit jelly. I might have to borrow some of that. <laughs> now I'll get my own glowstone. Yeah, here's our farm setup. Oh, spider. Don't you dare ruin our farmland, bro. Oh, I don't have a... Oh, mobs are still dropping presents, apparently. Trollington Lane. <laughs> this road takes us out to the power plant, and then, yeah, farms. Uh, we did record kind of a general welcome to the new map, welcome to the new spawn town episode. Hello. Hello, Mr. Hobbs. Can you be nice and quiet? I'm recording right now. But I couldn't record because Sigils was recording, and we actually only have one recording computer set up. Um, yes? Here, do you want to sit on my lap? Come up here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Arr! We're going to have a cat on the lap for this episode. Yes, sirree. Okay. Oops, excuse me. All right. Yeah, there's Sigils' place. And this is a dual gets dojo. I haven't been inside yet. I wonder how we get inside. Where's the door? Oh. Oh, interesting. He mentioned that uh, he had asked if I had checked out the shell of his house yet, and I told him no. It looks like he just hasn't put, like, a roof or the second floor on or something. Um, the nice thing about being chief architect is that everybody's asking if what they're building is okay, and I just get to, 
I get to tell people what's cool and what's not. This little fountain is the first thing after after I got the streets laid out ooh, with a lot of help from a lot of people, um, primary Artemis and a dual get and I think the clever creeper helped out a bit. A lot of people helped because I mean it's a it's a pretty big layout. If you look up there in the right hand corner and the mini map. But after we got it all laid out, this fountain is pretty much the first thing that I built. And what the heck is this? Is this a charging station? What is this? What the? It's not letting me right click it. I don't know. Oh, maybe you're supposed to right click with your item. Let's see what happens here. Oop. Nothing. I have no idea what that is. I'm going to be asking around. Uh, <laughs> oh, excuse me. Are you, are you saying you want to get back into my lap, Mr. Hobbs? Nope. Not going to happen, buddy. You turned it down once. And then this kind of bare plot is primary Artemis's place. And basically, if you go through this portal, it takes you like five blocks down to his actual base. And I told him that at some point, he was going to have to actually build something on this plot because it looks kind of barren. And everybody else's plots are starting to come together. Oh, over here we have... Whoop. Why is it so jerky? Over here we have Dezo. Dezo plays. This is YouTube. And he is building us a marketplace. And this is his prototype for Hobbs. Hobbs, buddy, chill out. Take a chill pill, buddy. And this is his prototype for the little marketplace shops. And uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. He actually built us a spruce meets silver silver magic something tree thing and yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome not gonna lie i am very excited i am so excited and now oh let's see you probably all already saw terraces place why am i not running it feels so slow uh oh bummer dude um this is Terrace's place. He His single player Let's Play is called Icecraft. And his whole thing is like Viking, King. Whoa, holy crap. <sighs> I'm so used to having my jetpack and just being able to fly away from mobs. Oh, and that guy has like a magical bow. Okay, let's put the jetpack on. Jetpack boots. Oh my gosh. Hobbs. For crying out loud, buddy. What the hell? Sorry for that. Um... This guy is just out of control with this crazy magical bow. Yeah, Mr. Regular Zombie, die. <clears throat> okay, that was embarrassing. Oh, look, cute candles. Yeah, so he was in the process of building this great big tower and these bridges and then his little Viking, Viking style home. Oh, somebody left his door open. I better fix that for him. Whoa. Whoa, I don't even know what that is. We're going to get out of that. I don't want to break something. Heaven forbid. He's probably into some crazy enchanting stuff. But now, this is what I'm currently working on. I just started this yesterday. This is going to be the town hall. And uh, obviously, there's a lot of work still. To Hobbs. Hobbs, I am recording right now. What is going on? I just fed you your dinner. I just fed you your dinner. What's going on? I'm sorry, you guys. He's not normally this agitated. Um, what was I even saying? Totally derailed me. Oh, yeah. Real quick, before we get actually started, I'm going to fly up here and kind of give you guys a bird's eye view. One that, you know, you can't really quite capture from just looking at the mini map. It's going to float up here. There's going to be marketplace on those two. And uh, we're also putting a clock tower in one of the corners there. And then my little house is going to be there. Sigils, Clever Creepers back there, uh, UK Vamp, a Dual Get, Kenzie, S Town Square. Oh yeah, that fountain is whoop, Town Square, and we're up in the clouds now. Whoop, here, let's fly over here. And yeah, I I am really digging this, you guys. Uh, I'm I'm very proud and very excited, and very excited that I get to be such a big part. Of building this town so yeah we are gonna head over here now and commence work on spawn town town hall and also we do really need to name our town like actually name it um, but yeah we don't have don't have a name for it yet but that will come it will come all right what do we need to do now
Okay, well, I do have plenty of sandstone in my inventory, so you know what? Let's just get started. Uh, this is coming along here, but we do need to put a slopey roof along the top there, and then we also need to replicate this entire thing on the other side. <laughs> what do we want to do right now? What do we want to do? What do we want to do? I mean, at some point, we need to put a dome on the top of this circular thing. And yeah, well, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start working. And I'm also gonna chat at you guys while I do it, because there's something that I want to share with you. Probably a lot of you have seen or heard of DJ Earworm and his amazing United States of Pop uh, music mashups that he does. If you haven't heard, basically this guy takes the top 25 Billboard songs from, uh, for the U.S. and he mashes them up into in a one track. And usually he does an incredible job. And this year's is probably my favorite yet. I really liked, um, I think it was 2009's that I really liked. Last year's, it was good, but it wasn't my favorite. And then... Um, Let's see, how do we want to connect this? Last year's was good, but not my all-time favorite. And then this year is amazing. It's it's so good. He mixes up like, gosh, who does he use? Okay, so in these top 25 songs, he mashes up like Gautier and Fun, Carly Rae Jepsen, Maroon 5, Ellie Goulding, Rihanna, Bruno Mars. I mean, like everybody. He mashes up everybody in here. Okay, yeah, I think that's going to work. So if we just put it there and then take it all back. Well, let's see, will it line up right here? Because I think we want it to line up right there. There. <laughs> there. Well, you know what, let's just start from this side. Um, and it's great. I will, I will link to you guys. I will link it for you in the page below. Because it is delightful and you need to have it in your lives. Whoops. Oh, I'm so thankful for my jetpack. Let's see. We need another stack. Oh, and I'm in hover mode right now, which is why I'm not crashing to the ground. If I were in the other mode, I would go up and down really quickly and take damage uh, during the fall. But, oh my goodness. I, I really don't know why Hobbs is so agitated today, you guys. Um, I'm a little bit worried about him. I wonder if he's, like, getting sick or something. I hope not. Maybe we'll take him to the vet if he still seems really agitated tomorrow. I'm worried about him. But on the theme of Hobbs. Okay, you guys, I'm going to, I'm just going to stand here. I'm going to put a torch down and I'm going to go see what's going on with this cat. And I will resume this in a second. Don't go anywhere. And we're back. It would seem that the big problem was that Sigils is taking a shower right now and Hobbs apparently wanted to use the litter box. And uh, I guess it was pretty urgent, so yeah. Um, yeah. See, I hate the idea of having just a totally blank wall coming this direction, but maybe it's not the worst thing in the world. I can always add shape detail and Maybe like more texture or a different colored block to it. I can always, oop, 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 wrong key. <laughs> I keep hitting X instead of S. I can always add to that later. But so anyway, we were talking about 2012. Today is New Year's Eve, uh, December 31st, 2012. And wow, so much has changed in my life in this past year. Um, at the beginning of 2012, Sigils and I were working with a film company and we thought that that was going to be, we thought that that was going to be our life. It was, it was our trajectory and our dream. We were going to, we were going to make movies. We were going to do the Hollywood thing. It would have been Sigils and MK on the red carpet, not Sigils and MK on the Koala Craft server. But uh, there, the fates had other plans for us and in February, the film stuff, it, it all fell apart. And it was actually really, really hard. Um, it kind of destroyed us in a lot of ways. And it took a very, very long time, I would say, for, for, for us to recover from it. 
we kind of floundered. We didn't know what to do with our lives. I would say we both actually got kind of depressed. And then Sigil started his Minecraft channel. And at that point, I didn't really know anything about gaming, but I could see how good the channel was for him, how good being back in entertainment was for him. And I kind of started to get like a little jealous. I was like, and, and he then started encouraging me to start my own channel. And I started in September of 2012. And as of... As of December 30th, I have 136 subscribers, 132, something in there, and I am so grateful for you guys. You you make life so much fun right now. I, I can't even praise you highly enough for what you have done for me and for Sigils, and it's, it's awesome. You guys are absolutely the best thing in the world, so thank you. Thank you for being around. Oh, this is getting super sappy. So let's um, let's change the topic. Okay, we went through the DJ Earworm remix. It's called The United States of Pop 2012. The track is called Shine Brighter. Um, yeah. And all of a sudden, I'm out of sandstone. So what I'll do is I will show you guys real quick how I'm use getting materials for this. What I do is I have been going back to Artemis' base on the old map where he has this factory that's just been cranking out building blocks by the dozen. And we, I have access to all this for like another week or so. Am I really burning through my rubber boots that fast? Is that really what's happening to them? I kept thinking, oh, well, it's a little wasteful, but it's all going to get burned up in the next week. So just not going to worry about it right now. I kept thinking that my rubber boots were glitching away or that I was losing them, but apparently, apparently not. Apparently I am breaking them. Oh, dang it, I forgot. Um, currently, my linking book brings me over here, which is not actually where spawn is. So we're going to run over there and see what there is to see. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited to see what 2013 brings. I, I have no idea. No idea. All I know is that I think it's going to be wicked awesome. Yes, I did just say wicked awesome. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm excited to see what happens with the Koala Craft server. I'm excited. Oh, whoops. Oops, a daisy. We need to break that stuff down. Uh, that should do it. I am. Um, yeah, I mean, the Qualcraft server, I basically get to build whatever I want, which is awesome. And then I guess eventually someday I have to start learning something about actual Feed the Beast, you know, not just dinking around building stuff. I gotta, I gotta do a little bit, a little bit of the technical stuff, just, just to say that I did, but not yet. Right now, it's all about the building. This is, I'm actually, I'm really, really liking this a lot. I really don't like that super flat wall, but I will add some detail to it at some point. At some point. Okay, here we go. Let's see, how do we want this to connect? Do we want to maybe take it out right here? Eh, why not? If we don't like it, oop, oop, that's not what I want to do. If we don't like it, it's easy enough to change. That's kind of the nice thing about Minecraft. Uh, yeah, so 2013, give it all you got. I am feeling pretty darn invincible. <laughs> okay, guys, um, next episode will probably be in my single player world. And then when we come back here, oh gosh, it's so hard because I've been, I love this building project. So I, I mean, as you can see, I did a ton in just one day. And so I'm going to try not to do too much more on it without recording, but you guys, no promises. No promises, but I will try. I, I promise I will try because <laughs> I do want to, I want to share this build with you. I am enjoying it so much. I think we need to put wood here. Spruce, little spruce wood. Yeah, make that, make it all matchy matchy. Um, shout out to Dezo for suggesting the spruce wood. Thank you very much. Mr. Dezo, let's Dezo plays. Uh, 
because I knew that I needed, I knew I needed some other texture or color, but I was like, oh, I can go back in and add it later. But when I was just working on the very front facade of the building, he was like, this is what you need to do. And he was right. Good call, bro. Thank you. <laughs> okay. We're going to take a quick look at that. And, oh, oh, I can't run through there anymore. What the? Okay, we're going to fly up through the dome. And this is going to be a dome. I'm trying to find a metal block that'll look good with the sandstone and the spruce. Um, but, you know, kind of look like a shiny metal dome. So far, haven't had a whole lot of luck. Because the metals that would look really good either can't be made into blocks or they just don't... They're just the wrong color. So, I don't know. But I'll see you guys very soon. And I hope you have a fantastic New Year's Eve. Uh, I'm going over to Kate from Boozy Crafts House. There's going to be a bunch of people there. It's going to be super fun. And we are going to party it up and ring in the new year. And I hope you guys do the same. My name is MK and I've been playing Feed the Beast on the Koala Craft server. Over and out.